Have you ever noticed that humans tend to do things constantly without ever really consciously knowing that we're doing it? Sometimes I guess we do notice. Some humans bite their nails, some humans take up tobacco products, some humans wiggle their feet or twiddle their fingers when they're nervous, and some humans always end a sentence with, you know, like in the same way you end a line of code with a semicolon. There are some much weirder and much more bizarre habits that some humans have, but it's probably not best to get into them in this YouTube video. This is a game development video, it's not a weird life video. These are habits, and despite what you think about yourself, you have habits. You probably don't even notice them, but other humans with other habits will notice, but probably never tell you about your habits out of fear of insulting or offending you. And if indeed they are your family and friends, they probably really won't want to offend you. Well, unless you're like my wife who wants to offend me. A habit is defined as a regular tendency. In other words, you regularly do it consciously or unconsciously, although probably mostly unconsciously. Habits can form easily, based on whatever is surrounding you, and they can be almost anything at all. Some habits are good, like brushing your teeth. Some don't really make much of a difference, like always eating your fries before your Big Mac. But some habits are bad, like smoking. So here are five habits all game devs have ranging from good to bad. Just one more level, or just one more line. It's probably one of the most common habits us game devs have. And if you tell me you don't have this habit, well, I don't believe you. We've all been there where we are just so engrossed in what we're creating that we want to get ourselves in a good, solid place that we can remember for next time. And in doing so, we think to ourselves, I'll just do one more line of code, or I'll just create this one more level. The problem is that that one more level turns into two more levels, which turns into three more levels. Where do you stop exactly? Honestly, it's a hard habit to break, and after you've done it once, you'll never be the same again. You'll just keep doing it. Maybe that's what makes a game developer a good game developer. I have an idea. Let's start over. Let's start over. Let's start over. See, now my game dev habits are seeping into my YouTube videos. Starting over and over is another habit we all have as we strive for perfection. Have you ever started building a game? Partway through development, you've learned more and thought up new ideas. Yeah, me too. But adding them in and readjusting the game will take so much time. I'll just start again. Brilliant. Starting again. A better version, a newer version of the game. But then partway through development, we've got some new ideas. Learn some more new things. But adding it in takes too long, so we start again. Kind of feels like an infinite loop, doesn't it? Getting stuck in this habit is dangerous as you could very well never finish the game you're trying to build. Although it's pretty admirable because it shows that you're always striving for perfection. But just remember that perfection doesn't necessarily mean good. Have you ever been on a day out with your family or friends and found yourself staring at the sky? Or staring at the buildings? Or admiring nature and then wondering if you could put that in your game? No? You haven't? Well, maybe you're not game dev enough then. Game developers live and breathe game development and find inspiration everywhere. Rarely turn their brain off in these situations. I find myself out and about and thinking, I could make that in a game, or I'd love to try and do that in my game. Some of us even take pictures and photographs for things for inspiration. And inspiration doesn't even stop there. It can even be what you're listening to, like with me. I made a game called The Demons Inside, and there are so many AFI references in that game, it's just silly. It's probably also worth mentioning that AFI is my favourite band of all time. And if you do play The Demons Inside and you are an AFI fan, then please feel free to look out for those references and leave them in the comments below, because I'm curious to see if anyone ever actually got them. But either way, a real game developer sees and hears inspiration everywhere and rarely turns off this thought process. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So when game developers imitate game mechanics they've seen, it can get a little out of control. I mean, yeah, there is a difference between trying to recreate your own Zelda-style game and repeatedly trying to perfect the Resident Evil door opening scene. It kind of comes down to inspiration again, so we can be inspired by all sorts of game mechanics and design choices. And in a game, a dev will always try to recreate those awesome mechanics that they've seen, not only to learn new things, 
but as a great opportunity to lose themselves in their own game, to become part of the game if you will. Whenever I play a new game, I'm always thinking, I wonder if I could do that in Unity, and then I'll end up trying to recreate it rather than play the actual game. Now I think about it, maybe that's the reason why I never seem to be able to finish a game these days. Either way, it makes us all better game devs when we try to imitate the things we've seen. Oh, sorry, I kind of fell asleep there. Sorry, I was up all night building Timmy and Mousy too. It's a bad habit I have, and I'm pretty sure all you other game developers out there have that habit too, but getting to sleep. There have been many times when I've been getting too deep into development, but before I know it, it's 5am, I haven't slept, and I need to be up at 6.30 to start getting ready for work. Of all the bad habits game devs have, I think this one is probably the most detrimental to your health, both mental and physical, and could push your friends and family away. Look, I know we've had a bit of a joke with this video, and it's all fun and games until something serious actually happens to you. Don't miss out on your sleep just for the sake of building a game. That game can wait until tomorrow, it's not going anywhere while you sleep. I know games are important to you, they are to me. I really get it, but you don't want to lose your family and friends or your work colleagues because of a bad habit. Because who's going to test your game out for you when you need it testing? This habit is one that I am personally guilty of, so I can talk to you actually with experience on this one. It really isn't good. I wasn't in a good part of my life when I had this bad habit. Luckily, I did manage to break it, and these days I'm well over it. There's no way you'll catch me staying up till 5am trying to make a game. I have my cut off time. I'm honestly not sure if I'd ever even physically be able to deal with it having to look after two kids as well. So there were five habits, good, bad, all game devs have. Some are harmless and a good conversation starter, but some are serious and really should be addressed. Habits can be a good thing when it comes to game development because it makes you always want to strive for perfection, be better, just make that better game but that could turn into a double-edged sword. You could lose yourself. That's not a good thing. At the end of the day, you are the only one in control of your own habits. Good, bad, doesn't really matter habits. But regardless of what you think, you do have habits. We all do. But do you have any habits that I didn't mention here that you'd like to share? If they're not too embarrassing, that is. Because there are probably habits which even I have that I don't even notice and I've never been told about. So if you do, please let me know in the comments below.